Soilless farming is a novel technology in modern agriculture. Growing crops and vegetables using a hydroponic system is one of those advanced farming systems and methodologies that have revolutionized agriculture and food production. Today, we're going to examine the world of hydroponic gardening, a method that might sound futuristic, but has been practiced in recent times. Hydroponics is a soilless gardening system that uses water mixed with nutrient solutions to cultivate plants. This method has several benefits, including faster plant growth, less space requirement, and less water consumption compared to traditional gardening. Now imagine growing your favorite veggies right in your home, no matter the season. With hydroponics, you can grow a wide array of vegetables, from crisp lettuce and spinach to juicy tomatoes and peppers. The possibilities are quite fascinating. This journey into hydroponics gardening is not just for those with a green thumb, it's for anyone interested in sustainable living or simply looking for a new hobby. So buckle up, as you'll soon discover how to set up your own hydroponic system and grow a variety of vegetables. So, what exactly is a hydroponic system, you may ask? Well, let's dive into the world of water-based gardening. A hydroponic system is a method of growing plants without soil. That's right, no soil. The system relies primarily on water, light, and nutrients to nurture plants. It's a significant departure from traditional gardening, providing a clean, efficient, and highly controllable environment for plant growth. Let's start with the backbone of the system, water. In a hydroponic setup, water isn't just a hydration source. It's the medium through which all essential nutrients are delivered to the plant roots. Unlike soil, Water allows for precise control over the nutrients your plants receive, giving them the perfect diet for optimum growth. Next, we have the nutrients. In a traditional garden, plants extract nutrients from the soil. In a hydroponic system, the nutrients are dissolved directly into the water, creating a nutrient-rich solution that's readily available to the plants. This solution can include all sorts of goodies that plants love, like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Now let's talk about light. Just like in a traditional garden, plants in a hydroponic system need light for photosynthesis. This is where artificial lighting often comes into play. Using specific spectrums and intensities, we can mimic the sun and give our plants the light they need to grow and thrive. One of the most fascinating aspects of a hydroponic system is its components, from the reservoir that holds the nutrient solution to the pumps and timers that control watering cycles to the grow trays that house the plants, each piece plays a crucial role in the success of your hydroponic garden. And let's not forget about the growing medium. While there's no soil in a hydroponic system, plants still need something to anchor their roots. This is where mediums like rock wool, perlite or coconut coir come in. They offer physical support, allowing the roots to spread and absorb nutrients from the water. With a basic understanding of the hydroponic system, it's time to set up one. Ready to get your hands dirty, or rather clean, as hydroponics doesn't involve soil? So let's dive into the nitty-gritty of setting up your hydroponic system, shall we? First off, you'll need to gather your materials. These include a reservoir, a hydroponics tray or net pots, a water pump, air stones and an air pump, a grow light, nutrients, and of course your seeds or plant cuttings. Now let's get started. Step one, set up your reservoir. This is where you'll hold your nutrient solution. Fill it with water and add your hydroponic nutrients according to the package instructions. Remember, balance is key. Too much or too little nutrients can hinder plant growth. Next, place your hydroponics tray or net pots onto the reservoir. These will hold your plants and allow their roots to reach the nutrient solution. If you're using net pots, make sure they're large enough for your plants, but small enough to allow the roots to grow through. Step three, install your water pump. This will circulate the nutrient solution from the reservoir to your plants. An air pump and air stones will also be necessary to oxygenate the solution. Once that's done, it's time to install your grow light. Position it directly above the hydroponics tray or net pots. Remember, light is like food for plants, so make sure they get plenty of it. Finally, sow your seeds or plant your cuttings into the hydroponics tray or net pots. Make sure they're secure and their roots can reach the nutrient solution. And there you have it. That's your hydroponic system set up. 
Remember, patience is a virtue. Don't expect to see results overnight. Instead, monitor your system regularly, adjust the nutrient solution as needed, and watch your plants grow. Now that your hydroponic system is set up, let's explore the types of vegetables you can grow. Eager to start growing your own vegetables, hydroponics can make that a reality. In the world of hydroponics, an array of vegetables are at your fingertips, ready to be cultivated in your own living space. Let's dive into the types you can grow and some tips for a successful harvest. Leafy greens are a fantastic starting point for hydroponics enthusiasts. From spinach to lettuce, kale to arugula, these vegetables thrive under this system. They have a quick growth cycle and don't require a lot of space, making them perfect for beginners. Then we have the herb family. Basil, parsley, cilantro, even dill can all be grown hydroponically. These aromatic plants not only add a pop of flavor to your meals, but also brighten up your hydroponic setup with their lush greenery. If you're looking for a challenge, why not try tomatoes, cucumbers or peppers? These fruiting vegetables require a bit more care and attention, but the reward of fresh, juicy produce is well worth the effort. Now onto some care tips. Temperature, light and nutrients are the three key factors to consider. Most vegetables prefer a moderate temperature, so aim for around 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. As for light, a good rule of thumb is to provide at least 14 to 16 hours of light per day. Nutrients, on the other hand, will vary depending on the type of vegetable, but a high-quality hydroponic fertilizer should cover most of your bases. Remember, patience is key when it comes to hydroponics. Like any gardening endeavor, it takes time to see the fruits of your labor. But when you're munching on your homegrown salad, you'll know it was worth the wait. Growing your own vegetables is satisfying, but did you know that even the army uses hydroponics? Yes, indeed. As we move on to our next scene, we'll explore how this innovative farming method is used in the most unexpected places. You might be surprised to learn that hydroponics isn't just for home gardeners. In fact, it's making quite a splash in places you might not expect, like the army. Yes, you heard that right. The military isn't just about drills and discipline. They're also about sustainability and self-sufficiency. And that's where hydroponics comes in. Imagine being stationed in a remote location with limited access to fresh produce. Traditionally, the army would have to rely on supply chains to deliver fresh food, a process that can be both costly and unreliable. Hydroponics is changing that. By setting up their own hydroponic systems, army bases can grow their own vegetables on site, ensuring a steady supply of fresh, nutritious food. The benefits are manifold. First off, hydroponic systems require less space than traditional farming, making them ideal for army bases where space can be at a premium. Secondly, these systems use less water and produce higher yields than conventional farming, which is a boon in areas where water is scarce or resources are stretched thin. But the perks don't stop there. Hydroponics also allows for year-round cultivation, regardless of the local climate. This means that soldiers can enjoy fresh vegetables even in the harshest of environments, be it a desert or a snowy outpost. Moreover, hydroponics can also contribute to the mental well-being of soldiers. Gardening, as many of you might know, can be a therapeutic activity. It provides a sense of accomplishment and can be a welcome distraction from the daily rigors of military life. So what's on the menu? From lettuce and spinach to tomatoes and cucumbers, a wide variety of vegetables can be grown hydroponically. The Army is currently experimenting with different crops to find the best fits for their needs. In conclusion, hydroponics isn't just about growing plants without soil. It's about innovation, sustainability and resilience, traits that resonate deeply with the ethos of the Army. Hydroponics is revolutionizing how we grow vegetables from home gardens to Army bases. What have we learned about hydroponics today? Well, it's a fascinating method of farming, isn't it? Hydroponics allows us to grow our vegetables without soil, using a water-based solution rich in essential nutrients. This unique system opens up a world of possibilities for all, whether you're a home gardener or a part of the army. We've seen how simple it can be to set up your very own hydroponic system, making it an accessible venture for anyone with a bit of curiosity and a love for fresh veggies. From lettuce to tomatoes, hydroponics provides a means to cultivate a variety of vegetables with ease. And let's not forget the impressive potential of hydroponics in the army. By implementing this method, our forces can maintain a steady supply of fresh produce regardless of their location. 
With hydroponics, you can enjoy fresh homegrown vegetables all year round. Now go ahead and start your hydroponics journey.